And it's that time for the class that we all love, our favorite class, of course, Mind Your Language with none other than Willis, the word master. Ocheng, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, Betty. That is a wonderful start <laughs> of Mind Your Language. I like that, Willis. <laughs> Willis, you know what? Let's start by listening to what people had to say on the street and uh, be ready to crack a rib. <laughs> Pseudonym. Pseudonym. What's her name? What's her name? Pseudonym. The name? Sadomi. Sadomi. Sindomi. Sindomi. Sodonim. 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 Sonam. Amanaki Siji. Sidonim? Sidonim. Sidonim. Pudium. Nimini. Ni. I. Mahali Kama. Yani kwa tumbo chini ya tumbo. Pseudonym. 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 Sadomi. Sadomi. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> well, if you had the some words that I can't even pronounce, uh, <laughs> the gentleman there saying uh, pussy them. Uh, very interesting uh, collection there. Willis, tell us, how do we pronounce that one? <laughs> well, Betty, when one is not conversant with a word, sometimes, you know, the pronunciation can be weird, mm -hmm. but you can't blame somebody. This is yes. a very, very tricky word. Yes. And what we say is pseudonym. Okay. Pseudonym. All right. Not all those varieties that I've had tonight. <laughs> Pseudonym is a word, and man, they're actually saying that, you know, it means the lower part of the stomach, but it, uh, it actually needs, uh, means a fictitious <laughs> name. Um, <laughs> well, let's, let's move on to another one. Um, do we say aquatic or aquatic, you know, meaning something that, you know, is uh, to do with water? You say aqua, aquatic. Okay. Aquatic, uh -huh. not aquatic. All right, aquatic. Yes. Got it, Willis. Moving on to another one. Now, we are very used to, you know, you use this word uh, quite a lot. Um, do we say desperate or desperate? Which one is which? You say uh, the simple pronunciation of that word, Betty, is desperate. Okay. Desperate. desperate. We should avoid disparate, uh -huh. disparate, uh -huh. and all that. No. Okay. Desperate. Desperate. All right. Desperate. Got it, Willis. Moving on to another word, do we say exhaustion or ego exhaustion? Ig, exhaustion. Oh. Ig, exhaustion. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's a very tricky word. Okay. Exhaust, uh -huh. exhaustion, uh -huh. and we also say ingestion, not uh -huh. ingestion. Uh -huh. Ingestion, okay. digestion, question, and mm -hmm. all that. Wow. That's a surprise, Willis. You said exhaustion. Exhaustion, there you are. Wow, okay. Does it go also for, do we say example or example? Example. 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 Exotic. <laughs> exotic, <Yes>. not exotic. <laughs> hey, Willis, you should, you're, you're really dropping them like it's hot, eh? So it's ex exhaustion and example and exotic. Thank you, Willis, for that. Let's move on to another word here. Colloquium, colloquium, how do we pronounce that word, Willis? Oh, you're talking about uh, a seminar or an academic seminar or like the seminar that is being attended by judges in Mombasa. Yes, exactly. Uh, we talk of colloquium, uh -huh. quiam, uh -huh. colloquium, colloquium, colloquium. Right. Remember we have the word colloquial uh -huh. for language, but wow. we say colloquium. All right. Willis, just tell us the other one, collo colloquial. That's how we pronounce colloquial. that one? Wow. Colloquial. 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 Colloquial language. Ah, yeah. okay. Got it. That's another surprise, Willis. Moving on to this one, uh, yeah. a fever. We, do we say dengue fever? We tackled this uh, quite a long time ago. 
But we said dengue fever, dengue fever. This is actually I got from a couple of uh, people who wanted to know the correct pronunciation, Willis. <laughs> dengue, dengue, dengue. Mm -hmm. Some people may talk of dengue, yes. dengue, and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. But we say dengue, dengue fever. Uh -huh. The dengue fever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Dengue, dengue fever. Got it, Willis. Wow, that's another surprise. <laughs> Moving on to another word, um, and this time round it's a feedback question from Anthony Deritu, I guess, and uh, he's asking about this word, courtesy or courtesy. You hear a lot of, you know, courtesy, courtesy, which is which? Many people say courtesy, uh -huh. some say courtesy, courtesy, and uh -huh. all that, yes. which are inaccurate. Yes. The correct or acceptable pronunciation is courtesy. Right. Courtesy. Okay. Not courtesy, not okay. courtesy. There you go, Anthony. There you go. Moving on to another word. Um, this is from Guyana, and he's asking Do we say synagogue or synagogue? Also, um, varied pronunciations there, Willis. You say synagogue. All right. Synagogue. Synagogue. Not sigh. All right. Synod, not synod. All right. Synagogue. Uh huh. Got it, Willis. Um, yes. Moving on, before your surprise word, uh, advertisement, advertisement, we've tackled this uh, some time ago, but uh, it's also a question that so many people are uh, asking. Advertisement, advertisement, which is which, Willis? Uh, Betty, the verb, the verb is advertise, uh -huh. advertise. Uh -huh. You have that diphthong or the glide, ta I, uh -huh. I, ties. Ties. But when we come to the noun form, uh -huh. we don't say advertisement. Uh -huh. We say advertisement. 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 Yes. Wow. Advertisement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Advertise. All right. Got it, Willis. Got it. Advertisement. Now, with all the surprises you've given us tonight, uh, <laughs> including exhaustion. Exhaustion. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do you have any other in your bag? <laughs> Well, Betty, when we talk a short piece of writing, uh -huh. many people say e say or e say, uh -huh. which are also inaccurate. Uh -huh. The correct pronunciation is essay. Essay. E double S E, I mean E double S A Y, you yes. just say essay. We should avoid e say. All right, not e say, but essay got it willis thank you very much willis it's always a pleasure having you on the show teaching us those difficult pronunciations like colloquial my pleasure too <laughs> colloquial colloquial and betty before i go away yes. tonight mm -hmm. i have to bring some two words here okay the first one is cattle uh -huh. cattle not kettle all right the second one or the lower one is Kettle. Just raise it so a bit, we it? should always di distinguish the pronunciation of the two words. Mm, okay. All right. Got it, Willis. You can see it now? Yes, yes. Clearly. So we talk of cattle uh -huh. and kettle. Okay. Cattle and kettle. Got it, Willis. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Willis, always a pleasure having you on the show. He's coming to us from Kisumu County, teaching us those difficult pronunciations like colloquial or pseudonym. <laughs> My name is Betty Kialo and that has been Mind Your Language right here on Friday Briefing.